Am I the asshole for, quote, hiding my mother-in-law's hurtful birthday present for my husband from him? Okay. My female 27 husband, male 28, is clearly not the favorite child of my mother-in-law, female 54. She has three sons and my husband is the oldest and only one not from her current husband. She separated from his father while she was pregnant and shortly after this met her current husband. After a while, they became parents to both my husband's younger brothers. They are six and four years younger than my husband. Okay. The relationship between my husband and mother-in-law is not really bad. She's not evil or trying to hurt him, mm -hmm. but she just isn't very affectionate towards him. Mm -hmm. All three of them moved away for university. My mother-in-law sends packages of sweets, clothing, or something like this to his younger brothers. Okay. My husband never received a package with the exception of his birthday. His brother got a brand new iPhone, two expensive pullovers, and one parfum for his last birthday. Similar to the other brother, and I would guess most of the times for their birthday, it's something in this price range. She writes a nice card or a personal letter for them as sometimes bakes something like cookies as well. Damn. My husband is sad every year. No. It's not about the money, but two years ago, he got a 40 euro gift card for an online shop sent via the online shop. Oh, shit. I tried to talk to him about it, but he's so hurt that he doesn't want to talk about it. Oh. I waited a few weeks and tried to talk to him again, but he refused. Last birthday, I gifted him a little vacation and texted my mother-in-law that she sh could gift him a tour for one of the museums he wanted to see there. Mm -hmm. He dreamt of going to the city for years. It would have not been expensive but thoughtful and would probably made my husband happy. She said she already had something. It was a candle, parentheses, he's not very into candles, and a shower gel. This year, a package arrived two days before his birthday. It was small, and I could see that it came straight from an online shop. Jesus. Yeah, fuck this. We weren't at home, and our neighbor took it. When I came home, my neighbor told me that I'm lucky to see him because he's away for the weekend, and we would have missed the package. I just knew it would hurt my husband. I asked him if he could keep the package a little longer so my husband would get it after his birthday. Take it because, and hide it. Yeah, because it's probably something disappointing from my mother-in-law. He laughed and agreed. One day before his birthday, I told him the package from his mom arrived, but our neighbor was out of town. He had a great birthday full of friends, lovely cake and gifts, and didn't think about it one time. Yeah. Our neighbor gave it to him yesterday and made a joke that his dad is also bad at picking gifts. My husband got curious and asked him about his words, and my neighbor told him everything. He talked to me while his brother, who was there for the party and stays with us for the week, was present and said he understood it. His, bro his brother told my mother-in-law, who is now furious with me. What the fuck? She texted me in the group chat of this family lit up. She said that I'm mean and spoiled and had no right to hide the gift. So <laughs> am I the asshole? No. Two edits and an update. Okay, let's go. Edit. English isn't my first language, so I'm sorry for my bad English. That's All okay. Good. I get it. Edit number two. His brothers never said anything about the different presents. Now his brother said that he found it harsh from me to hide a present. My husband is, quote, older, and apparently that's why it's justified to not get expensive or thoughtful gifts. Wow. Funny enough, we are nearly 10 years together, and he never got a good present, even as he was the same age his brothers are. Wow. One of his brothers also works, like him, so it's not the job that makes the difference. Hmm. That sucks, man. Yeah. Update. Thank you all for the messages I wrote in the family group chat, a good mixture of what you all said. That I was just trying to save my husband's birthday because he's been sad for years because of his presence that not match the energy of his brothers. Parentheses, and it's not about money, but also the thought. Yeah. I listed everything he got versus everything his brothers got. In return, I got thrown out of the group chat. My husband left the chat after that. My mother-in-law wrote me in private that I'm a toxic person who destroys my husband's relationship with his family. Wow. But we chose to ignore that and go, and go low contact for a while. That's good. Am I the asshole for changing my mind about letting my girlfriend name our son? My girlfriend is currently pregnant with our first child, which okay. we recently learned was a boy. Aww. Before we knew the gender, we made a deal that if it was a girl, I would choose a name, and if it was a boy, she would pick. Okay. That was before I realized that I hated every single name on her list, especially the two that she was leaning towards the most, 
Why would you say that if you didn't know what the names were yet? Yeah. What? Okay, go ahead. Elian and Gawain are after oh. the Knights of the Round Table. Yeah, I was going to say, that's nice. One thing about her is that she has always been into fantasy and mythology, especially the Arthurian legends. Yeah. And she expressed that she has always loved both of those names. Right. Even though I didn't like her choices, I figure I figure we didn't even know the gender yet. So there was no point in bringing it up. Okay, dude. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know how many men have to do this. And it's not all men, I'm sure. Quote, unquote, hashtag, not all men. But, like, <laughs> a fucking, it, it seems to always be men where it's like, I didn't think I had to bring it up. How many times do you have to hear those words before you're like, you know, what? I should probably bring it up. Should probably do it. Should, should probably bring it up, bring it up man. Really yeah. eating, eating my words, dude. Fucking, Yeah. I think those are nice names. <laughs> yeah, I think they're fine, too. Yeah. Names, all names are Gawain? stupid. Gawain? This baller is hell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a boy. Mm. Parentheses, not because I didn't want a boy, but because I didn't want to have this conversation. Okay. I was hoping that she would change her mind and pick a better name, but no. She decided on Elian, which I guess is better than Gawain, but I still hate it. <laughs> Call him Eli. Yeah, Eli. That's a good shortening. Yeah. Yeah. But I still hate it. It sounds like a douchebag in a teen movie that they were trying way okay. too hard to okay, have okay. A get, to give a unique name. My own son's gonna be a fucking douchebag. Yeah, right. God. And everyone else has the same mentality yeah. that they're all gonna choose perfectly Christian names. names. He's gonna grow up and he's gonna be the only one with the weird name. Yeah. And that's a crime to be different exactly and yeah, there's no illegal. way that you can change it until after you put it on the birth certificate not <laughs> at all go ahead i asked her if she had any normal names that we would both be happy with she asked me what was wrong with the name she chose and i brought up the above mentioned concern our son's gonna be a douche <laughs> that's not in there sorry she got upset and told me that we had an agreement and she would have accepted any name i chose even though she didn't like any of them either now she'll barely talk to me. I apologize for being so harsh about it, but I would at least like a say in the matter. I even mentioned another name that was on her list that I didn't hate as much, Leon, but she, wouldn't bu she won't budge. Leon's yeah, good. I honestly don't think it's unreasonable for me to want to have to s a say in my own son's name, but everyone I've talked to said that they are actually really like that name and it's not fair to me go go to go back on our deal, yeah. so am I the asshole? Edit. Okay. okay, yes, making that deal was stupid and we shouldn't have done it in the yes. first place. And yeah. yes, asking her to pick a, quote, normal name was a shit thing to say. Yeah. I'm going to sit down and have an actual conversation with her about it and see Thank if you. we can come to some kind of an agreement. And for those asking, it's pronounced a lion, but sometimes when she says it, it comes out as alien. Am I the asshole for laughing out loud when my husband told me his friends think he's the perfect husband? My husband was all smiles and encouraged when he told me that his friends at church told him they were talking about how he's the perfect husband. I immediately laughed and noticed that he was offended by that. I then started to tell him how I believe he is an amazing husband and I wouldn't want to be married to anyone else, mm -hmm. but I know the good, bad, and ugly, so perfect is not how I would describe you. Mm-hmm. I could tell he was still not pleased. I told him my reaction was the same way he laughs and thinks if you only knew when someone tells him that I must be an angel and they can't see me getting upset because he sees me when I'm upset often. So I guess like that was a very that wordy was word way, salad for sure. But, but she's saying like, I feel that you probably feel the same way when someone calls me an angel. And then it's like, no, I see how when she's mean. Yeah. Yeah. Or upset. Yeah. Like I see him as a third dimensional person and they don't. Yeah. Because they're church friends. Probably. I learned that he expected me to be happy for him and think that it's awesome that his friends think so highly of him. Even when yeah. I challenged that I know you best as a husband because I'm married to you. He told me his friends know him better because I tell them things I don't tell you. All right. Well, that's okay. He well, also. I mean, what the fuck? Can, can you compute that? Or yeah, that? I'm trying to add it up. It's not working. What the hell? He also shared he didn't think they literally meant perfect in the sense of having zero flaws. Yeah. But his interpretation was they thought him to be a high quality role model husband. When they gave him the compliment, he simply said thank you and said he wanted to ask them later about why they think that. And that's the end of the post. That's it. Am I the asshole for refusing to replace my flatmate's shoes and skirt she ruined while doing a chore? 
What she ruined it. I, 27 male, live with a flatmate, 26 female, who is also my friend. She was leaving to go see some friends and was dressed up and had some fancy clothes on. Okay. As she was leaving, she asked me if there's any rubbish to take out in my room as she was going to take out the rubbish and place it in the building communal bins on the way out. Okay. I was actually going to do this myself, but since she offered, I told her there's a bag of rubbish in my room and everything is already in the bag. She's done this for me before and knows that the bag can be somewhat heavy. She didn't support the bag at the bottom and it broke and some of the bottles inside the bag fell out and their caps burst. This made a really bad stench and her skirt and shoes were drenched in it. Oh my god. She blamed me for it and said I owe her new shoes and a skirt and she showed me what they were on the website and while the skirt isn't too bad, the heels are ridiculously expensive. I refused and said she should have been a bit more careful. You're the one that fucking filled your your trash bag in your room with filled water bottles or just regular glass bottles, I assume. She called me an asshole and said I shouldn't be having such bottles in the bin, even though she knew about that from before, and even though she's since cleaned the shoes and they look all right, you she's knew acting I was more a piece cold of towards shit, me. You bitch. Sarah, what was the liquid? Was it piss? It was piss. But it, that's not mentioned in any in any sentence. Oh, you think you're fucking sneaky, don't you? You little piss in a pi- bottle pisser. You oh, you think you think pisser. you think that's sneaky? I refuse. To, okay, OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. Okay. <laughs> I refuse to buy my flatmate new clothes after she got a bad smelling liquid on them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> When she was taking out a rubbish bag from my room. The gymnastics. <laughs> this might make me an asshole since it happened when she was helping me with a chore, even though she wasn't being careful. People are going to say this is fake, and they're right. Because <laughs> who the fuck would not bring that up? Am I the asshole for slut shaming a slut shamer? We will see. I admit this is petty, but some mutual friends think I'm the asshole, and it doesn't really seem to rise to the level of asshole to me, so another opinion would be helpful. In general, I think it's bad to slut shame. Who knows what's going on, though? I, 19 female, am not sexually active by choice. Not for any moral reason, I just want to focus on uni without extra complications, and I'd rather my first be of someone I care about and feel com- extremely, completely comfortable with. That's absolutely fine. Totally and valid. smart, honestly. Yeah, yeah, smart, good. I like this. Guys get weird about it when sex comes up. Mm. Either they fetishize it, turn it into a challenge, or lose interest. The guys that get all excited about a zero body count are the worst, Yeah, and it's my number one dating pet peeve. Yeah. I mean, they also don't know how vaginas work. Yeah, so... So, so that as well. Yeah. Yeah. There is a guy we'll call Bob that hangs around my friend group because he's one of the other guys' roommate. Bob has good moments, but he acts like a major douche canoe when dating or sex comes up. Mm. Brags about sleeping with a lot of girls, but also looks down on them for being loose. I try to avoid Bob. Okay. Now I see where this is going. I'm on her side 100%. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) Bob asked me out before Thanksgiving break. What if there's just like another person brought up? Like, anyway, some bitch (laughs) shows up. (laughs) That's so funny. No, I'm joking. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Bob asked me out before Thanksgiving break. Mm -hmm. Like two days before that, I heard him talking to one of the guys about a girl he went on a date with, and he said he hit it and quit it because he doesn't date sluts. But he's a slut. (laughs) So when Bob asked me out, I said, no, thanks. I don't date sluts. He pressed for a reason, and I told him that I heard him talk about all his hookups, and I don't date sluts. That's awesome. You should have seen the look on his face. He said it wasn't really that many, and he was exaggerating a little. I'm, quote, wife material, so he's not looking to hook up. Yeah, because he's bought into the fucking (laughs) alpha bro bullshit of, oh, you got a zero body count, you must be wifey. Yeah, (laughs) meanwhile, he's, he's out fucking around on you, yeah. 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 So he's not looking to hook up. I said if his body count was over zero, he was too easy to be husband material. Hell yes, dude. Bob yeah. lost his shit about it, and the friend group, friend group is split. Some think it's hilarious, and Bob got a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Others, men, think it was wrong to. <laughs> not joke. It doesn't That's say men there. Oh, yeah. damn. Others think it was wrong to slut shame him, even if he is kind of a, a bell end. 